Tom Alabrando with IWI. We get questions about how to remove the flash suppressor on our uh, particular platform. It doesn't use a crush washer like you might see on an M4 platform. So we're going to talk about what the jam nut is, how to work this. A lot of people are going to attach suppressors onto it or they just want a different flash suppressor on it in general. Um, my recommendation is use the jam nut as your shoulder, not necessarily the barrel. The jam nuts, the threads are cut really well. It gives you that nice 90 degree interface. And once you learn how to use the jam nut, it, it actually works pretty well. It's pretty easy to align everything. So you need two 19 millimeter wrenches to make this happen, okay, typically. Now most folks will have a 19 millimeter wrench and they'll have an adjustable wrench and that's fine. It's just the adjustable wrench has to be pretty tight and fairly thin to fit over this small area on the, bear, the uh, flash suppressor itself. So uh, what's happening with the jam nut is it, it's exactly what it says. It's, it's actually coming forward and it's meeting the back of the flash suppressor and it's jamming itself up against the back of the flash suppressor. And through that tension, that's what keeps it from unscrewing and coming off the gun. It's pretty simple. So um, the flash suppressor, obviously the alignment of this is there's a top vent, there's vents on the top, there's a solid on the bottom similar to an A2 pattern flash suppressor. Um, we want to make sure that this top part is aligned and up. Um, initially when we're pulling this off, it will be that way. So what you got to do to pull these apart is I've got to take the screws and I got to work against each other to get the jam nut to break free. So the jam nut right now is, you know, away from the shoulder of the barrel itself. There's actually a little thread exposed. So I've got to tighten the jam nut and I've got to loosen the flash suppressor. So they're going to work against each other. So I get two wrenches on at the same time. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the jam nut, you know, basically righty tighty, right? And lefty loosey and it pops. And when it pops, generally speaking, and, and when you get some uh, carbon on it, it's going to be harder. So you're going to have to use, hold the jam nut with one wrench and then unscrew it with the other. This one, armor gun, so there's no carbon in there, but you may have to use an actual wrench to get the flash suppressor off. So then you just unscrew the flash suppressor and replace it with whatever. Now here's the jam nut we were talking about, right? Um, what you're going to do is when you reinstall whatever you're going to reinstall, you want to back the jam nut off all the way onto the shoulder so it stops, but not tight. It's not going to stay there. It's actually going to come away from the shoulder. You're going to grab whatever flash suppressor you want to put on there or adapter, or, you know, whatever you have. And you're going to thread it on from the front, clean the threads off, okay, make sure they're, they're good to go because sometimes carbon get in the end threads in particular. And I'm going to screw it all the way down. And you're going to notice that if I do that, the flash suppressor's can it off. It's not correct, right? The, the top vent is facing off at around the, you know, 2 o'clock position or so. We don't want it like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew it until it is aligned. See, now I've got this where I want it. Now I'm gonna have the jam nut come off the shoulder and meet the flash suppressor. That's the best way to do it. And you wanna have that little bit of standoff anyway. It makes it easier if you're gonna change this out to unscrew both pieces away from each other, okay? So once I get the alignment down, there's lots of ways to do the alignment. You know, I've had guys take essentially a rod or whatever they put it through the flash suppressor um, to make sure it's level. Um, another way of doing it is you know, kind of, I hate to look through the front of a weapon. This one's been cleared. It's got a, fl a flag in it, but pull the bolt out. And you can actually look through the top uh, vent as an aperture at an angle, and you can see the front sight. So if I was going to do that to make sure the alignment's there, I kind of look from the bottom, and I look through the aperture with the front sight extended. I look at the top of the sight, and I know, yep, that's aligned the way it's supposed to be, okay? That's a method of doing it in the field, and we've had to do this quite a bit in the field. So what I want to do is I want to try and hold, and you could write a tick or um, try and draw a tick mark on there or something like that um, to, to make sure it stays aligned. But align it how you want, and I'm going to take that jam nut, I'm going to, with my uh, finger holding this where I need it to be, I'm going to put that jam nut against the back of the flash suppressor. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the flash suppressor in place. I'm going to push the jam nut and screw it in tight. And there it is. Everything's back together again. And you want to give it a good push. If somebody asks me, well, how many inch pounds is it? It's pretty tough. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to crank on it. When I feel it bite, I go about maybe, I don't know, a quarter turn. And then I stop because it's really biting in there. 
and that's not going to move anywhere. It's, it's on. Okay. So I hope that helps you if you're going to install or change something on the front of the weapon, um, different flash suppressor or whatnot, that's a good way to go. Obviously, if you're doing a, um, uh, an adapter for a uh, suppressor of some type, you might consider, you know, uh, rock set or something. It's on there though. You're not going to be able to get it off, but once it's set, it's set. And remember, use the jam nut to keep everything in alignment. My name's Tom Alabrando from IWI. And look us up at iwi.us if you have any questions, and we'll see you on the range.